Foam rolling is not just for myofascial release, aka a little massage for your body. You can also use this thing to strengthen your core and do a whole host of workouts. So here's a little sample. Start with your spine on the foam roller. Okay. Feet down to help you stabilize. Fingertips are here to help you stabilize. Take a deep inhale, exhale, draw the abdominals into the spine and use the spine into uh, the foam roller. Inhale, lift your legs. Now your fingers are here just to help out, but try to make your belly stabilize the rolling, so keep the core engaged. And one leg tap, the other leg tap. And again, the goal is not just the tapping, which is working our lower abdominals, but <laughs> the belly is trying to stabilize the foam roller. And again, I keep my hands here just to make sure. <laughs> Woo! Once you do a few of those, you can do three reps, four reps, maybe 20, 25 a piece. Add a little arm action into that. <laughs> so left leg, right hand, switch. Left hand, right, uh, right leg, switch, switch. Try to move slow, right? This is not about jamming down. This is about core control. <laughs> and again, you'll do a couple of sets, maybe 20, 25 reps. Then when you're done with that, flip over to all fours. Place the top of the feet or around the crux of the ankle. Even the shin bones will work. You'll have to play with it a little bit. I start with my knees down. Palm the floor, lift. Now you can do here and just hold. Again, working the belly. Lift. You want to boost it up a little? Try lifting alternate arms. And again, stability is the name of the game. Make the belly work. Now, firing up that lower belly, extend the legs. Make sure you don't sink down. Push the floor away and draw the knees to the chest. Now, how far you get those knees in depends on where you start the foam roller. If you wanted to get the knees closer to the face, you may want to shift the foam roller up more towards the ankle. Right? Squeeze at the top. Woo. Oh, man. Those are just a few things you can do for your abdominals with the foam roller. And, if you're like most of my girls, <laughs> extend the legs, hook the feet right around the ankle on the foam roller, palm the floor, lift the hips, now we're into the back of the body, do some leg raises here, stabilize the foam roller with the down leg, keep the hips lifted, don't let yourself drop down. You're using the entire back of the body here, and of course, really focusing on the hamstrings and the butt, which my my girl clients and my girl yogis love. You can also do these little curls for the back of the leg. Woo, firing up those hamstrings, those glutes. Beautiful. And one last butt move. Feet down, extend the left leg, drop down a little bit, push back up, squeeze and isolate that glute. Everything's about creating stability, right? Whew. So if you don't have time to go to the gym and you want to do a quick boost for the core and my girls and some of you guys like this too, you want to do a quick boost for the back of the legs and the butt, foam rolling. It's not just for myofascial release. Enjoy the workout.